What's up, you guys? Welcome back to New Jack City. Today, we are talking about Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion and his two new attorneys. Now, remember, I had did a video, I want to say three days ago or maybe a week, and I said that he had got a new attorney and it was, uh, he fired his old attorney and his new attorney was, who was, oh, Suge Knight. It was Suge Knight's old attorney. Now, it looks like he has two new attorneys. So, let me read. Uh... This comes from Megan uh, from Twitter. She says, Rapper Tory Lane set to sing for shooting Megan Thee Stallion has been rescheduled from January 27th to February 28th. As his new lawyers prepare to ask the judge to grant him a new trial, this was finalized in court a few minutes ago. Tory Lane was brought into court in handcuffs wearing orange jail garb, two, lar two large white necklaces with a cross on each, and a, and a black beanie like hat. He answered, Yes, Your Honor. When Judge Hereford asks if he wants Kenner and Baharma to be his new lawyer. With that, Judge Hereford authorized Kenner and ba Baharma, I don't know, someone to be, to be Toy's lawyers, and George and Sean Hawley are officially off the case. I didn't realize Hawley was still technically Tory's uh, lawyer. Me either. That is actually, I didn't know that either. Anyway, uh, with that, if y'all didn't know, there was before uh before the george dude it was the girl um i don't know if y'all remember i think i reported this if i didn't report it, i'll tell y'all now before george there was a girl lawyer and the gore lawyer was actually the one who started the whole trial process with tory lanes out of nowhere i don't know what happened but tory uh like put her off and then he put george on as his main lawyer and george is the one like that was pretty much like kind of coming with the you know coming with the heat until we got to the trial then he started like kind of clout chasing it was kind of weird so yeah i didn't know she was still on his uh case anyway i thought she had i thought she got fired from tory but hey i guess she was still on there anyway with that judge uh hereford authorized kenner and barharma to be tory's lawyer oh no, i just read that sentencing could be delayed again depending on how long it takes for tory's new lawyers to get trial transcripts which they need to prepare their motion for new trial. Deputy, Deputy DA Kathy T.A. said, prosecutors are open to another delay if the transcripts don't uh, come in timely. Da, 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 da. Okay, then uh, here's Tory Lane's new lawyer. He's super old. All right, David Kenner, outside court today with a friend of Tory's family. Everyone is due back at 1.30 for Kenner to make his official appearance for Lane's. We may... We may hear about his plans to file a motion for new trial. Okay, and then Tory Lanez has a new, another new lawyer in addition to David Kenner, with his name is Matthew Baharma, is known for his success in uh, vacating, convic uh, vacating convictions for numerous defendants who faced wrongfully over, uh, overseas, overseas prosecutions and unjust charges. He is in the hallway with Kenner now. You kind of look Muslim. Not Muslim, I'm sorry. Muslim's not a race. Uh, uh, Arab, I guess you could say. That's not a race either, but you know what I mean. Uh, bro look like he's from Pakistan. Let's say that. Okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, man, this is um, this is different. This is different. I don't know why Tory decided to go to with a new lawyer, because as you can see, they have to get the transcripts now. They have to read over the transcripts, see where, you know the new the old lawyer went wrong and what should have been thrown out and all this other stuff they have to like they really have to basically relearn everything that happened in the case in a certain amount of time between now to february 28th so they can set a motion so um they can throw away some stuff so they can get some new so they can get either a new trial and i mean not either a new trial so they can get a new trial too much i don't know why he did all that but to a certain degree, I actually kind of do understand why he did do that. But if I were if I were him, I would have kept the George dude and or the uh, the lady that was already on his uh, case. And I just would have hired somebody else, hired a new one and just been like, bro, you taking the back seat. He's taking the front. Catch him up. That's what I would have done. Like, I don't I'm not understanding why he did what I don't know. I don't get it. But hey, this is what's going on. And 
Also, I wanted to bring up this too because I don't want to just talk about Tory Lanez. I also want to talk about Megan Thee Stallion. Somebody brought up who was it? I think it was I think it was 1090 Jake. It was 1090 Jake or Met or Academics? It's either one of those. One of those people I forgot. It was I think it was Academics or 1090 Jake. But they brought up something that was very interesting, and I didn't really think about it until they said it. But they're actually absolutely true. One of them said that Megan the Stallion is a snitch. Because, <laughs> you know, we've been talking about snitches lately. We've been talking about Gunna, uh, you know, YSL, you know, 6 9 So everyone in this new guy named British, so I forgot, some something going on. I don't really, I don't, I don't, y'all know me. I don't get into stuff like that. I try to get on here to, you know, talk about the news, give y'all some game, have some fun and laughs, and also have a good time. I'm not into the drama stuff. That's one of the reasons why my channel hasn't been blown up. Because a lot of YouTubers do all that good stuff. They like to get into the drama. I'm not that type of... I, I did that once. And I was cool after that. I was cool. Again, I could have been the same people. I could have been the same person. Going to the Tory Lane situation. Writing down stuff. Getting in, you know, back and forth with people. I'm not... No. I'm good off that. I'm good off that, bro. Anyway. They said something that was very interesting. They said that Megan Thee Stallion is a snitch. And... The music that she now puts out, she cannot promote anything about, you know, running up on some B-I-T-C-H's, talking about how, um, you know, you know, like Asian dolls talking about, I need to hit her with two bodies and all this other stuff, because it's like, bro, and pretty much you can't get with no thug or anything like that. Like they be saying, like making it sound, talking about, you know, I like thug hitters and all this other stuff. No. Why would a thug get with you when you just, when you clearly snitch? I mean, you put on a performance crying on the stage crying on the stand and all that and i start thinking about it i'm like you know what we don't ever have that same energy when it comes to the women and we're supposed to live in equality right we're supposed to be equal across the whole board so equally she should get the repercussions of going on the stand and being a snitch let's be 100 let's be 100 we can't because we love to like that's the one thing that i don't like about um just hip-hop and just people in general we are so much hip we're hypocrites how are we gonna say he a snitch but she ain't a snitch because she a victim no you a snitch too so that means the stuff that you i better not hear a song about her talking about she want a thug she want to um you know a rough ride she, she better not say anything gangster in her raps anymore she better be rapping about she, 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 her, her. That's the only thing you should be rapping about. I don't want to hear I'm a savage. No more. None of that. You're not a savage. Because a savage would have definitely not took the stand. That's a fact. A savage would have, you know, they would have stood on business. <laughs> you feel me? You would have got paid back in blood. You would have got your payback in blood. That's what a savage would have done. Big facts. Got to keep this equal. We got to, you feel me? This is what y'all fought for, women. Feminists. Y'all fought for this equality. She should be canceled as just like 6ix9ine got canceled. We got to keep, oh, it was 6ix9ine who said that. 6ix9ine who said that. I'm sorry. Damn. Actually, I was thinking about making another video about that. Actually, oh no. I'll, I'll leave it. 6ix9ine made a good point though. 6ix9ine kind of reminds me of WAC 100. Sometimes, you know, I agree with a lot. Uh, I agree a lot with WAC 100 and the stuff that he says. I believe that his timing be super awful, and also I believe that some of the stuff that he be saying, like the things that he directed to, I'm talking about Nipsey. Some things just shouldn't be said. But with that being said, he don't lie, and he always keeps the same energy. Same thing with Six Nine. He always keeps the same energy. That's one thing we got to give him. He keeps the same energy. So anyway, how do y'all feel about Megan Thee Stallion being a snitch? How do I feel about Tory Lanez uh, getting new, uh, getting a new lawyer and, you know, trying to get a new trial? How do y'all feel about all that? Leave in the comment section. Give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. All right. I will see y'all next time. All right. Living, living just enough. Living just for the city. Living, living, living. Just enough